What's up, lads? Welcome back to Battle Brothers. That is loud. So I've not been able to stream for the last few days. I've been having power cuts, constant power cuts here. Uh, at my house, the national power grid, grid is pretty much fucked. So I'm having to run off my generator quite a lot. Now I've got a brief bit of power being on, but not long enough to be able to stream. And when I run power off the generator, it makes way too much noise and makes the audio just completely ruined. Anyway, we were going to go do this fight against the undead to hopefully get some levels. I'm Alex Nesterov here. And I think we wanted to just keep grinding, frankly. We've got this ruin and then a couple more there. Mm. This is not the best setup. I need to get my front line on this level here. But then also, I don't want to break the lads up. I think we get our front line here, maybe even the front line here. Just conscious. You put Alex Nestrov there. Nexus here. We've got to keep everybody within four squares of our Bannerman. One, two, three, four. So if I go there. I put Nestrov there. So Horst can stay where he is at least. He just needs to be close enough to be able to hit the Necromancer. I think with an aim shot, he should be able to hit the Necromancer on the next turn. Let's see, so is your turn done, Hawkeye? It is. And he's a great axe user. Let's so say if we use Banana Fint and Sinrig as like flank holders, if that makes sense. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Everyone just needs to be under the effect of the banner, which we're going to switch to in a sec. And looks like we should be okay with these ghosts going quite uh, towards the center of the formation should make it easier in these kind of fights I'll, I'll often struggle if the ghosts end up going on the flanks because then you can't always get a whip on them should have had the banner out fucking hell yeah, that almost everybody's broken we're gonna need a, a big big Chain morale. Oh, good. 47%. Get him, Horst. Shot. And I didn't even use the Lionheart. I could have. Luckily, it worked. What's my resolve? 113. Oof. I think Goliath can actually go to his axe now. Although, one of these lads probably better off keeping a whip out. I need to disarm this dude. If he attacks multiple times with that flail, that's pretty scary. This is Puminus. Ah. Well whipped, Puminus. Ah, oh, legend. And can I, yeah, I can disarm and then still get my weapon out. Good. Excellent. Is that a tree? Nice. Isn't the great axe just wonderful? I'm wishing I had a couple more right, uh, archers, actually. Cool. So at least with morale, we're going to be fine. All the ghosts are down, and we have our Bannerman doing his thing. Isn't it amazing what a difference it, it makes? Having someone who can pretty reliably raise morale. And then, of course, the whips. I still remember before the whips were introduced, dealing with uh, ghosts was such a pain in the ass.
Nope, scary. And I'll take that that fighting axe. We actually need it. I don't know why, but I sold all my fighting axes. I had, I think, I had six or seven of them saved up at one point. Got rid of them. Need them for shrut fighting. Oh, shot horse! One more. Actually, let Exiled Pariah execute that Beating Anger. And then Hawk, maybe I can move around the flank, which will then allow Sinrig to swing in a big circle. I like having the Bardishas in the center of the formation and then the Great Axes actually on the outside flank. You can protect quite a lot of the flank with a Great, great Axe. I've got this a little mixed up, but... Nasty caffeinations. Powerful. <sighs> I'm so happy when I have good coffee to drink and some Battle Brothers to play. It makes me happy. Uh, choppy chop. Just choppy chop. Dodging lads. Go on, Horst. 53%. Easy. Ah. Uh. Now that like one hit, half his armor gone. So did that give two stacks of reach advantage? Well, Pumis doesn't have reach advantage, but that's an interesting question. Would split give you two stacks? It should, because you're hitting two enemies. Whoopsie, wrong ability. I meant to use Shatter. Elephant. Get him! Nailed it. Okay, now we can move to throwing weapons, I reckon. And the body just pretty good with its damage, but it can't beat a great axe. <laughs> Not a level warhammer. with your undead head. <laughs> Are these ruined undead shields? I don't think we're going to have to use at all. We're making more than enough money. Buy our own proper heater shields. I'm just disappointed that we lost all those named shields that we had. I mean, typically, now we need those shields for an achievement. We don't have them. 
But I should have known that, that, that this was going to be something that could happen when I chose to not take any shield specialists in my team. Also explains why I was so reluctant to even use those shields at all. Because you know they're just going to break. I kind of hope that when 1.4 comes out that they will make legendary shields. Even if they break, you should still get them in your inventory, even if it costs a fortune to repair them. See, wrong button. When he's that surrounded, there's no need to break the shield. Everyone's gonna hit. Well done, lads. Easy. How much XP for the new lad? Alexis draw 522. Three rings, nice. It's the 20 heads we need. I should go take a look, see what we have there in Sunken Battlefield. I hope that there are some ancient dead. Honor guards, okay, good. And one priest, that's very doable. Should do that. When we get our next patrol mission. Let's get paid to do that. But I want to fight those honor guards as much as possible. We never actually got our hands on any war scythes, did we? I think we had two earlier in the campaign, but I stupidly sold them. We'll just need two, maybe three. We are going to need that reap ability when it comes time to fight the... Ooh, what's this? Three skull. Green skin. Marauding green skins. Yes, please. Three and a half thousand. Where are we heading? Carlton off. I'm gonna go sell some shit first till I get there. What was I saying? So, yeah. Greenskin horde. No, we'll ignore that. Not getting paid to fight that. Oh, piss off. What is this that's attacked us? Don't be goblins. Don't be fucking. I'm so sick and tired of fighting goblins. A swarm of Noctes. I think we'll just run away from this. We don't have the right weapon setups, and this can quite easily go badly. And again, we're not getting paid to fight these things, so... Without spears, these kind of battles can turn so quickly. You can't keep them off the corpses, and they feast on the corpses. And now, if that lad gets caught, who's that? Hawk. If Hawk gets caught, we're going to have to stand and fight. Hmm. We can use the auto retreat in a second. I just need to get everybody onto flat ground. Whenever there's height disadvantage or height differences, one, two, three. The AI retreat does weird things. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I cancel the retreat now? Ugh! Big dodges, lads! Outstanding. Simply outstanding. Just one more dodge from Hawk and we're good. Otherwise, Hawk's gonna get his, eat his face eaten. There you go. Good lad. Well retreated. It's a little surprising these Noctiers even wanted to take us on, I mean. We're a group of badasses. 
Unfortunately, that has totally offset the mood buff we got from uh, drinks in town. Uh, spare bullhook. I think I need that. Ninety-nine, one twenty, one forty. Loads of fish. Fish and beer. The lads' farts are gonna smell deadly. Oh. Now remind me. Are we we're still in the in the market for one more lad? Aren't we? We need to replace MK. Oh, eight star brother, but sadly not in the right uh, skills. Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Right. If you can't off. And that's good to know that's there. We can go clear that up when we're patrolling again. In fact, I should put the whips away. We're fighting greenskins now. Go back to your primary weapons, boys. If this is orcs. I think we can keep this set up. Just the one archer is fine. Please let it be orcs. Oh, so much do not want to fight goblins. Cause, oh, so sick and tired of fighting goblins. We're certainly not going to fight them on high ground. It's the afternoon, so we can run around till night time. Force that shaman to have to cast night vision. If, at least he's, if he, whenever he's casting night vision, he's not casting root. Right, men, prepare to charge. Well, I wonder if we shouldn't fully charge. We just go three squares and then use. Uh, indomitable. I think indom is probably a good idea considering some of these things might have daggers. And at least indom lowers the dagger damage by 50%. But if these little fuckers are going to come right up, up, up to us, and that's wonderful. I go here. Shot. Oh, I love a good one shot. Fuck. Uh, I thought I had enough movement for Indom. Let's hope. I oh, know that one's got a sword. Let's hope that one doesn't have a dagger. This is where adrenaline would be so useful. Now a little while ago I was theory crafting about how I want to build my next warband and I was saying that I wanted to do uh, fearsome on everybody but fearsome is kind of useful but not so much on these lads who hit that hard so I'm considering maybe making everybody adrenaline we do Adrenaline and Recover. The thing is though with Adrenaline, we won't be using it that often, but there will be unique situations like here. Would have been a great time to use Adrenaline. Having been able to attack before the Greenskins, uh, the Goblins could on the second turn. If we had hit hard enough. We could have pretty much ended the battle this turn just by breaking their morale. I think for my next Warband, I might go more... Great sword heavy, and then just give everybody adrenaline. I 
And then also I might go two or three uh, ranged fighters, but just crossbowmen. So this playthrough we've done dedicated archers and we've done throwing weapons. But it's been a while since we've tried to use crossbows. Dodging. <laughs> nice kills, Levitsmere. Nice kills. Pulminus, what's your defense like? 33, not great. Just fucking get right in there. No! Ah, oh, fatigue. I should have known the fact that he was acting at the end of the turn would have meant he had zero fatigue. Also on my next playthrough, I, I, I'm adamant that I want to try a light armor, dodgy, nimble tank. But for that we're going to need, we just need to find a brother who has multiple stars in melee defense and iron lungs. Stars in fatigue and initiative would be a bonus, but as long as he has the melee defense stars and iron lungs, I think we can do what, what I want to try. Just use repost every every turn. I think using Indom against goblins is something I haven't done enough in the past. Because you look at them and you don't immediately think of how dangerous they are. Fuck, I want to use spin here. 55, 41. Can I wait? I can, not because then I can move Lavitsmere. <laughs> Get dodged. Uh, only one of them hit. Still, it was a decapitation, though. Good. Don't you kill my dog, you little green. F oh, you bastards! Fucking oh, get him, lads. A big lesson from this playthrough is that uh, starting off, if I'm going to build a a uh, bullhook user, I'm not going to be satisfied with someone who can't wear heavy armor. Because in the past, I have taken some lads who have decent melee skill, but not enough fatigue for heavy armor, and just made them pole arm lads. Because for like the first. Well, for, for, for almost all, for, let's put it this way, for all of the battles, except the very hardest battles, those light armor, pole arm lads, which we had, they were fine. But then when I want to take them into the super hard battles, they just aren't tough enough. I think I'm also, again, on my next playthrough, if I get a lad early on who doesn't have enough fatigue for heavy armor, but has a lot of stars in, in melee skill, let's say you got two or three stars in melee skill, but like zero stars in melee defense. So he's not going to be good enough to be a two-handed brother. I should make him a light armor wearing either flail or dagger user. Because in a recent offline experimental campaign, at one point I had on the front seven lads, three of them, no, four of them were X using tanks who had like, you know, literally like 55, less than 55 or 60 melee skill. But that ended up not mattering because their only job was to break shields to allow the dagger uh, users that are interspersed between the X users just allows the dagger guys to go to work. It's actually pretty effective. Back to Bockhorn. Level ups? Two of them. Synrig. 
mini skill, mini defense. Oh, sweet, he's brave. And yeah, you see his hit points. It's not good enough. 67. I wish I'd taken Colossus on him, but what what would I not take yet to give him Colossus? You got to give a Berserk. Of these, I feel like Killing Frenzy is the one that you can give up. And if I'm going to build a two-handed lad in my next playthrough, especially with a great ex a great sword user rather, I would have to give up. It's a Killing Frenzy to take Adrenaline. A lot of you guys would say give up reach advantage, but I mean you, you need that extra bit of defense, especially if it's going to be a great sword user. I mean if he uses swing and split and hits all five, he gets five stacks. Plus 25. It like doubles his melee defense, if you can pull it off. There's a temple just to the northeast here. 20 orcs, berserkers, warriors. That, that, that could be a good amount of XP. How is the armor looking on all the lads? Pretty good. What's this? Fatigue? Fine. These lads are looking pretty good. Now we can always run away and reload if we have to. Oh, I didn't close up the formation. Whoopsie. Although honestly, historically leaving a gap open like that has been kind of fine. Like having an enemy go into that position has for a long time it's it's felt like a bit of a trap for the enemy it's fine you know they can maybe get right amongst you and swing a weapon in a circle but they're going to be triple surrounded so very likely to die if they do that alex nestorov's poison is going to be super important here let's see i think the flank is fine for banana frontier horse can and should just move back I think what I'm going to do is... Hmm. Boghorse will switch with Elstia, so Elstia can swing in a half circle there if he has to. Everybody else, hold the line. Remember boys, remember boys, the Berserkers are the number one priority here. Uh, I think if we wait, this warrior might go to that position. Good. Poisoned him. Super important. Love that. Three attacks this turn. Yes, host! He's a fucking beast! Ah, oh, that. I should have done that. I should not have done that. No! I love fighting orcs. After fighting undead, I'd say orcs are my favorite thing to fight. I thought this fucker would move up there. So one of the cleaver lads it needs to make sure that Sepet block remains disarmed. Who do I want to poison here? That bad. Gronifant has got Berserk, right? He does. Great damage. But nah, he didn't use Indom, so he's going to get stunned. 
Shit, morale's breaking. I could have used Ray's morale there, but I felt like it might have been not worth it. Given that he's four tiles away, and the further you are away, the less likely you are to raise someone's morale. Okay, so he has the point where the lads are too exhausted to use Indom after attacking. We're going to start getting pushed around now. Yes! Severe concussion, so minus 50% on combat stats. That is a combat ineffective enemy right there. Good dodge. Clutch dodge. Ooh. He's dodged man splitter hits. And now let's see, is this going to be enough damage to inflict poison? Well, that's awkward. Fuck. Oh yeah, now we can use Ray's morale for sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit, it's not going to hit Pominus. Got two people breaking there. Fuck. Okay, that helps them around a bit. Well done. If I don't actually back away this turn with Horst, and this no, he'll just attack twice. He won't he won't push. Okay, wait where you are. Fancy feet. No. Fuck, I need to do some to do some recovering. No. Seventy five must. Fine if he's using his fatigue to do that. Oh, those are clutch. Those are such clutch dodges. That's four attacks there from terrifying weapons. But Levitsmere has managed to dodge. Levitsmere, what is your 31 defense? It's okay. It's not great. Hacks Nestor off. You've now missed a 75 and a 90% on that. Dude. Not great. Shit. Get wrecked. Get double wrecked. Okay, we gotta get Cinderig out of there. Sunry could can't take those hits. Let's hope the killing we're gonna do. Okay, I can rotate. Thank goodness. Whew. Can I attack and then rotate? I can. Shit! I forget that orcs can do that. Yeah, you better run. So as usual, good fight, but we took way too much damage. I suppose that could be said about any of the battles that I'm in. Take way too much damage. Well fought, men, and level 7 now on that new lad. Plus threes, that's good. His hit points and fatigue actually looks okay. And now with Fortified Mind, I probably only need one more level up on Resolve to get enough Resolve. And we can go for Polearm Mastery here now. Most of Polearm's keeping at bay. 
Action points cost reduced to 5, although this already has a 5 AP. Well, at least now with 75 accuracy, I think he can move up to using a full, full hook. Now on the front. Hit points are super low. His um, resolve is pretty shite too. Probably could have done with Fortified Mind, but like I don't want to give up any of these skills for Fortified Mind. Honestly, I can sell those Goblin Impalers. I really don't need them. I need one or two at most just for new recruits to use as a training weapon. Forty-five. some bread and some booze. Alright. Do I need to be buying legendaries? If it's a shield, I'd buy it just to get the ambition. The legendary weapons. I, I, I remember seeing somewhere in a patch note that legendary weapon drop rates have increased. Am I remembering things? Ooh, iron lungs. No thanks. Ooh. Three points in melee skill. Great. But then range, defense, and resolve. Not good enough. That's nice, that's nice. But Bleeder though. Uh, a Dissonant Noble won't have the fatigue that I would need to put him in heavy armor. Unfortunate. We need a good a stout wild man or a, a nice, you know, strong farmer. Or at least someone else with iron lungs. A killer on the run would actually also make an amazing bulldog user, a polearm user, just because the extra hit hit the hit chance synergizes nicely with polearms, which get like a, a a flat hit the head chance buff. Okay, what do we have here? Delivery. Where to? Guessed it. No thanks. Tracks near Blankerstadt. Maybe I go to Guessed just because I've been saying I, I need to be operating in the north again. Once I get our money stabilized, and I think 13,000 were officially stabilized. Remember that we want to operate in the north because we want to pull some reinforcements into the Barbarian Sea of Tents and just see if we can do it there. What do we have here? Just Necros Advance. It's the Ancient Auxiliaries and Necros. Right, what you got for us? Travel to Grona first, break the Greenskin Siege. Definitely. That should pay nicely. Brawlers can be excellent. Fatigue, initiative, melee skill. Loyal. With fatigue and initiative, you could actually almost... Uh, if that was in melee defense, then that would have been what almost what I was looking for. For a dodgy defensive dude melee skill range skill melee defense quick mm. i'm being exceptionally picky but we can afford to be this picky we have plenty of lads oh wild man nope 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 in fact should i get rid of some of this armor that we're carrying I need that other full helm. I do not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, so we need one more fighting axe. We have enough axes in stock. Let's sell Cook Impaler. That. that. Any tips? I just missed it. Wait, what did he say? Uh, let's see. While it goes join a raider camp in the tundra to the west. Well, that, that's the Sea of Tents. Can't quite do there, so 
Stones of the Ancients. This is great. We're fighting with a big old group of soldiers. The timing could actually be... Couldn't have been better. Like, ready for battle. Okay, chaps, it's 40 minutes. Take a little break. When we come back, we are going to head to... Corn and Fest. And go destroy goblin siege engines and kill any greenskins around. The terrain is not looking great, though. Could complicate matters. Well. Onward. Onward, damage ink. So Alex Nestrov needs four more levels, and then we've got to find one more polearm lad, also who can use heavy armor. Level him up fully. And then I think we should be ready to take on the black monolith. And I should go hand in these unhold hides and just go fight the Kraken. Okay.